and a noise here at Ibrox. A 42,000 crowd and a noise with a, an intensity about it that almost hurts. And you get the feeling that that really could also be a significant factor on this very important night. No away fans, of course, no Leeds United fans here tonight. It's all Rangers here tonight. Howard Wilkinson trying to play that down, saying, well, the crowd can't tackle, and the crowd can't kick the ball, but they can have an intimidating effect. They can, in fact, influence referees, they can break a player's nerves, and they can inspire. So the crowd might well be a factor here tonight. Leeds then in the yellow shirts, attacking the goal to our right. Matty in the midfield again, and Leeds always look more comfortable with Batty in that midfield area as opposed to right back where he has played. Long throw towards Lee Chapman, three Rangers defenders around, and Leeds get the first corner of the night. We must deal with the emotion of the night, said uh, Howard Wilkinson. He paid the penalty when we got slack in the last half hour of the game in that first match against Stuttgart. And that Leeds have performed well. Strachan knocking it in. Fairclough had gone in there. And a brilliant start for Leeds, Gary McAllister. Silencing the Ibrox crowd in the most effective way. Andy Gorham clutching for the ball and didn't really get a touch on it. Strachan's corner. McAllister's shot. The skipper's example. And a brilliant start for Leeds. Ron Atkinson. Yes, well, what a dream start. One of the great goals in the European campaign, that. A header away is quite decent, but Gary McAllister on the edge of the box picks up the drop well, picks up the volley, and it's gone straight straight down uh, Andy Gorham's, back of Andy Gorham's neck. He, he's no chance there, a magnificent goal. He certainly will be a threat here. Goffs at the uh, near post as well. It's up to Lukic. Oh, and he's fisted it into his own net! The goal's been given. Completely miscued and suddenly out of nothing. Dorigo watching on the line, couldn't stop it going over the line. It's clearly there, but it's clearly an own goal. Well, that's an incredible thing. It is, it's really a, a bread and butter cross for Big Luke. It's, he's come out to claim it, to punch it clear. No question about it, whether it was in or not, but what a free goal. Rangers fans were howling that one of the Leeds defenders, John Newson, I think it was, was holding back one of the Rangers attackers. Stephen with the corner again. And McQuist! Rangers get the lead! Lukic had saved the first header from the corner but could only palm it down the person with a good header parried there by the goalkeeper but McCoist finishing it off and one of the Rangers players down injured it's McPherson I think Brown but if you look here they've only really got one player in the box when they take the corner they've only got McCoist in there McPherson's coming on a big big challenge and I must say he climbed above about six Leeds players Howard Wilkinson will be furious with that. They have so many defenders back there, and nobody's not only done anything with the corner, nobody's even reacted to the second ball. I mean, McCoy's all credit to McCoy's. That's how he scores his goals. He's quick, he's bright, he's alive. And that's his 25th, believe it or not, this season. But that is an absolute tragic ball. Well, the two goals from both from corners, both from crosses. And that's a that's a prop been a problem area for Leeds this season. And you don't really know why, because look at the number of big guys they've got defending. Well, now it's going to be a real battle for Leeds. A game that started so brightly, so brilliantly, with that opening goal by McAllister in the opening minute of the game. Now Rangers have shown their true strength in a...